Right, uh, in this video I'm just going to be making a simple platformer game uh, with Java and LWJGL. Um, it's not really a tutorial, I'm just going to be making it and just explaining what I'm doing. Um, it's just for people to see an overview of making a game from beginning to sort of end. It, just a simple game. Um, so first of all, just in Eclipse, I'm just going to create a new project, call it LWJGL game. Uh, just need to link in the libraries. So we're just going to need LWJGL and LWJGL utils. Um, and then we've just got a link in the natives. These are the DLL files. That can be found here. Native Windows. Now that's set up, we're going to create a package. I'm just going to call it code. going to create a first class and we're just going to call it game and it's going to have main now we're not going to worry about um, exception handling so I'm just going to put in the top of main throws exception that means if anything goes wrong uh, it's just going to pass it out of um, our program into Eclipse in this case just to handle the error. We shouldn't get any errors. Um, Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is create a window. So we have to set the window size. So we call display dot set display mode. And then we're going to go say new display mode. And then it's going to be 640 by 480. We're going to import this one, the LWGGL display mode. Um, then we're going to put display.create, this will actually create the window on the screen and then after we've run our program or game we're going to call display.destroy this destroy the window um, we're going to have a while loop to represent the game and that's going to say while not uh, display dot is close requested um, that's if the close button has been pressed on the LWJTO window so while they've not pressed the close we're going to run this loop Right, and um, so this is where our game code is going to go. Um, each loop we're going to need to call display. Sorry, dot update. This will send the the graphics data from the graphics card to the monitor. Um, and also we're going to slow the game down so it runs at 60 frames per second. So display dot sync 60. This will slow the program down to run at 60 frames per second. Right, so. First, so let's run this and it should create a window. Ta da, there we go, a window. And then we can close it like that. Uh, first thing we want to do, uh, make it draw a world. So we'll, we'll make a, we'll make it call a method called, uh, uh, oh, change the, the thing. Still recording? Yep. We're going to make it a call a method called um, set camera. And we'll create it here. Public. Static void set camera. This is basically just going to set up LWJGL for rendering some 2D graphics. Uh, so first of all, we want to start using L, uh, the OpenGL command. So we're going to just use anything with GL11, and then up here we see it imports GL11. We're just going to import everything static in GL11. That will import all of the OpenGL commands. So now we can just call uh, GL clear. GL color buffer bit. This will just clear the screen back to black. Um, so on every frame, we want to clear the screen to black, set up the camera, draw the game, and then loop. Um, so we, we we clear the color buffer bit. Um, then we need to uh, set up the matrices, which control where the pixels appear on the screen. So we're going to set up it for um, orthographic projection, which is 2D. So we go GL matrix mode. We're going to be working with the projection matrix. And we're going to call GL load identity. This resets it, so it clears any settings that we had in before to do with the uh, the projection on the screen. Um, and then we're going to set it up for orthographic mode. We'll call GL ortho. And then you you now need to set up the window coordinate. So the left hand side is x zero, the right hand side is six forty. The bottom is at zero, and the top of the window is 480 high. Oh, and then also you need to set the depth. Uh, 
minus one pixel to one pixel in is all we need for the depth. It's not for 3D games, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, that sets up the projection matrix. Um, I'll just put a comment here. Clear the screen. Modify projection matrix. Now we're going to modify the uh, model view matrix. This basically just um, scales and rotates the objects being drawn onto the screen. Um, so all we do is do call GL matrix mode again. And we're going to do modifying GL model view. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to put that. GL model view. Um, and then we're going to call GL node identity again. Just going to reset the settings so it, everything goes back to its normal scales and rotations and positions on the screen um, and then we don't need to modify that um, so now that's set up the camera uh, we're going to so each loop going to set up the camera and they're going to draw the background of the game so draw background new method like so there we go um, first of all it's going to draw the sky in the background so um, we're going to begin a new quad uh, gel begin gel quads and then end it here so we need sort of, uh, some sort of sky blue colour so colour three doubles um, I think sky blue sound like a 0 0.7, 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 I think we'll have it going to call the uh, two bottom vertices on the screen, so we start with the bottom left, shield vertex two, two doubles, uh, going to start at zero, zero, and then stretch over to the right hand side which is zero, vertex, two doubles, and then the right hand side which is uh, 640, zero. That's, so that's the two. That's the two points at the bottom of the uh, game. We just need to do the the two at the top. So we're going to copy this, change the colour. So the top I think needs to be darker. So we'll just lower this down. Uh, six, seven, and I think I think I can stay there like that. I'll set it to eight just in case. No, I'll set it to nine. Let's see what happens. Um, and then these are going to be the top two. So reverse this, so now it's going to go bottom left, bottom right, top right, top left, uh, these are going to be Y480, 480, now if we run this, there we go, we're drawing sky blue in our game, uh, looks good enough, let's darken this down just a tad, mm, not getting fussy, we'll just drop this down. It looks more like sky blue. Uh, all right, so that, that draws the grass. No, uh, grass, sky. Next fall, we want to draw like a, a sort of like a muddy ground. So we just ground. Again, new quad. And the quad. Quad is just the square in OpenGL. Um, Again, we want to start in the bottom left. So, oh, and the color would be sort of brownie. So that would be uh, gel color three doubles. It would be 0 0.5, I think, on the red, and then zero and zero on the other channels. Um, I think that's sort of brown color. We'll see. Uh, hit the two bottom vertices. Gel vertex two doubles. Bottom left one zero zero. Uh, the bottom right one is 640, zero. And the two top ones, gel vertex, two doubles, will be at 640 in by 480 up. Gel vertex, two doubles, then be zero by 480. That's bottom left, bottom right, top right, top left. Uh, we're not going up this high. We only want the bottom to be 32 pixels high. Like that. Now if we run it, there we go, that's our ground, uh, it doesn't look very brown, change this to 1, 
point one. Hmm. Better. Bump this up to seven. Bump these up to like four. Four. Still doesn't look very mad like. Oh well, we'll leave it like that. It's good enough for now. Um just put point two here. Yeah, that's better. Right now we just need to, we're gonna draw a thin layer of grass on the top just just because it looks pretty. So we're gonna do grass. We're just gonna copy this code. But make the colour uh, green. And then two and two on the other channels. Just test it. Uh, yeah, it's got colour of green. It's gonna bump up the bottom, so it's not it doesn't it's not on the bottom of the screen like zero, it's just gonna be up at like twenty-five. And uh, sorry, what I do that for? I mean, up here, the bottom row is just going to be 25 up, 25 up. There we go, nice green layer of grass on the top. Uh, so that looks good. That's that's our ground. Uh, next thing we're going to need to do is have a player object. So we're going to go into code, new class, player. So we have our constructor. The player object will have um, doubles, which will be for the x location, the y location, the x speed, and the y speed. These are like for the momentum. When he spawns, he's just going to be x is at 100, y, which is going to say 100 as well, like that. So in the game, we're going to have a player object. So public static player, I'm just going to call him player in lowercase. Um, just just before we enter the game loop, we're going to create the player. So we're going to say uh, player equals new player object. There we go. So this this spawns our player. Uh, he's going to need to draw himself at some point. So we're going to put public void at draw, <coughs> and then so basically set up the camera, draw the background, and then draw the player. So you just put player dot. <clears throat> so to draw the player, we're going to say the player is going to be, uh, I don't know, whatever colour, we're going to say rainbow colour. So we're going to call g11.geocolor2double. Right, um, and then we're going to import all the static methods from the GR11 class. There we go. Now called gel color. Three doubles. Uh, we're going to say so the first the uh, first corner bottom left is going to be red, and then uh, first of all. Uh, we need to uh, translate the matrix to where the player is going to be. So we call GL push matrix. This just saves the state that the the the, the model view matrix is in. So we can just uh, go back to it after we've drawn the player because we're going to be messing around with the positions. Um, so you call GL push matrix, and then after we've drawn the player, we're going to call GL pop matrix. This just resumes everything back to as it was before we drew the player. Um, so we're going to push the matrix, and then we're going to now. Now this is where we're going to mess it up. We're going to call GL um, translate with the doubles, and then we're going to say the player players x, players y, and then zero because it's taking three D coordinates. Uh, zero. So now we're, we're the point zero zero has now been moved to the player's x and y position. Now. And if we if we just left that like that, everything drawn after the player would be offset at the player's position. So by calling geo pop matrix and it resumes back to here, we won't end up messing up all of the the coordinates for the rest of the game. Um, so we translate to the player's x and y position. So the first corner to be red, and this can be bottom left. So we call geo vertex two doubles, um, and that's going to be bottom left. So we're going to say. It's going to be so. Remember, zero zero is at the player's position, so it's going to be minus eight this way. Um, we'll say the player's y is base, that's zero. Then we'll do the bottom right, 
Oh, so we do a different color. Gel color, three doubles. And we're going to say it's green. So zero, one on the green channel, zero on the blue channel. C called gel vertex. Two doubles. And we're going to say uh, this is going to be plus eight. This is the right hand side of the player. Okay, we just put eight. And again, zero because that's the where the Y is, the bottom of the player. Um, top right corner of the player is going to be uh, gel color three doubles. I'm going to say it's blue. And then from the coordinates of the top right uh, vertex, vertex two doubles. And it's going to be eight across and 16 up because y is at the bottom that's zero, 0, so 16 is going to be at the top of the player um, and then just for the, the top left pixel we're going to put um, girl colour three doubles and we're going to put uh, sort of a golden colour so, uh, yeah golden so it's going to be one on the red, one on the green, zero on the blue top left vertex two doubles it's going to be minus eight 16 high. Now if we draw this, ooh, we're not seeing anything. Why? Because we haven't told it to draw the player. So just here, oh yes, we have told it to draw the player. So why isn't it calling it? Draw. Oh, we haven't called, we haven't said that we're drawing a quad. So just here, draw begin, draw quads, and again here. Oh no, here, draw end. Cool. Now if we run it. Ah, there we go. There's our ca character, sort of like rainbowy colours. You know, I don't know what that is. Um, it's colourful. Um, we're going to give the player some logic as well. So, <clears throat> just before drawing, we're going to call logic. This is where things like gravity and all that's going to be. So we've got new method, public void logic. There we go. Um, and then here we're going to introduce things like gravity. So we'll put. Uh, 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 x plus equals x speed and the y plus equals the y speed <coughs> so just to test if we set x speed to 1 and run it the player should move at the x speed um, just going to get a drink so be right back